Hey welcome, in this video I will walk you through step by step how you can launch a profitable Facebook ad campaign right now in 2024 and even beyond 2024. This will be a game changer for newbies and even for intermediate advertisers that are not profitable with the ads platform as we leverage AI not just to craft compelling ad copy but to also generate captivating ads creative and we'll also use AI to deduce the best audience to target on this platform. Now that's not how we'll still use AI to shield our account from being banned and from our advert from being disapproved. Now all of this I've said will be done with AI the essence is to simplify the process for you okay guys so without further ado let's get started with today's tutorial hey welcome back now let me give you a sneak peek into what we'll be discussing today so this is all about running profitable facebook ads and these are the steps we would go through using ai so the first thing we'll do is we'll set up our custom instruction if you watch my last video this should not sound uh, kind of new to you so you already have an idea what it is so we'll do that we'll do our market research just to give more context uh, to the ai we'll be using now once these two things are done then we start connecting the dots we we'll generate our ad copy we we'll get our targeting recommendation we we'll generate our creatives and some other resources so when you are talking about Facebook ads, is in three phases or three stages. First one is the pre-launch stage. The second one is the launch phase, and then the post-launch phase. And I will tell you this: the most difficult is actually the pre-launch phase. That is when you need all of your assets available, and that is what AI. We basically a pause do that is why they are called generative ai right so we we'll leverage ai to generate everything almost all the parts we need now not just for generation but also for brainstorming that is what we'll talk about our creatives idea and um, our targets and all of that okay guys so enough said let's just get started already so here is the thing we'll be using this same product as our case study in this video so we'll assume we are advertising this product as that was what we used for the last tutorial that i did so this is more like a series so we'll continue using this and let me just say this guys in case you do not know probably the quality of the video you are watching is not that okay so just let me add this always come to these settings then go to quality sometimes it will be um, at auto so change it to the highest quality so I just wanted to chip in that and I have decided to also find a way to include non-e-commerce vendors or merchants in my tutorials. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Now the first thing as I've said here is to set a custom instruction. So if you are seeing into this, custom instruction just refers to specific instruction you give to ChatGPT so as to improve the relevance of the output it gives you so in the last video i, I said chat is a general purpose chatbot right a general purpose artificial intelligent chatbot anybody can use it everybody is using it and it is also trained on public data so they actually introduced this feature so that people can get something more specific so if we are getting generic response is because you do not know about this and they actually just read it out like a month or two months ago many people still don't know so if you have watched my previous video you know this already i've crafted uh, a personnel that you can use especially if you are an advertiser and also into e-commerce business and don't worry you can see i also did for digital products and services advertisers so you can as well use this okay we'll just go right into it if you want a more detailed explanation i would advise you check the previous video on copywriting all right so let's go uh so the first thing you come to your chargeBT here click on it and um custom instructions so 
this is the first thing you do you paste it just copy and paste i've done the work no stress okay uh so the next one here is um the response format and we'll just type this in so this is what will help us get something more uh specific from ChatGPT. okay so once that is done let's move to the next step so i'll not be using this but i've made provision for you to just copy and paste if that is what you do now the next thing here is to do a uh, research so the custom instruction is just to tell chargbt who you are uh, the kind of things you do your interest um and so many other things like that but this research is to now provide context for your use case at that point in time i hope you understand so i'll not be going very deep into that but the essence of doing this is to also provide more context so it will not just give you generic even though you, you did uh, this custom instruction it's not just give you generic response because your adverts probably you are very spe specific with the kind of audience like let's say you are selling to nigerians the way you sell to nigerians is different from the way you will sell to people in germany in poland in uh, usa and the likes so this is very very important meanwhile uh let me say this so in case you notice uh anywhere i wrote can you see uh fluent in english and pigeon and stuff like that make sure if you are not a nigerian and you are watching this i'll advise you just read through uh the custom instruction i don't want to start going through that once you can read it so i've made provision read it and make adjustment where necessary so i think i put so there are some places i put nigeria and all of that and it's because many people watching this are nigerians it is what it is okay so uh let's continue now as i've said here this should influence the overall narrative of your art copy and creatives so i don't want to keep repeating this because i already did in the previous video so there are three methods to actually doing this the first one is uh, fully automated research using AI. So AI will help you do all your work. And in the last video, as I've said, I stated when to use this particular method. The second one is semi-automated and the third one is the free and the manual approach. So uh, here is the thing. So I'm just opening the, this was the previous uh, Notion doc, as you can see that i used in the previous video so i'll not be explaining all of this again not to waste our time because you still have a lot to cover in this particular tutorial so you can see i already explained everything so just uh go watch the previous video if you haven't watched it honestly to uh help you i don't want to keep repeating myself especially for those that have watched this particular video uh the previous video before so go watch it go to adelikesamuel.com forward slash magic and all the videos I'll be recommending in this video, I'll put in the description. I'll always check the description of my YouTube video. I'll put everything there. Okay, so I'll just use uh, the uh, the uh, fully automated research method. So I'll just uh, be very, very fast with this. okay guys so as you can see now we have our research checked so everything we need is right here now can you see so we have the product information we have uh, the benefit the features of the product um, we also have the kind of audience that are interested in the product the technical specifications of the product and the pain point the desires the customer's feedback and all of that everything is right here so we can now build upon everything that we have we will use to craft our copy our creative get our targeting option you understand okay so let's just proceed now we are done with research now let's connect or let's start connecting the dot now the next thing here is to craft our art copy so it's not really crafting now it is generation because we already done we have done our research we'll just generate our copy 
from this research. So, um, I've written the prompt as well. <laughs> as I've said, I want to make your life easier. So, when I do tutorials like this, I just want you to understand the concept why you go try it out, understand the concept and implement. So, as I've said, uh, where I wrote this Nigerian market, um, I also put Nigerian here. Yeah? So, just search for Nigerian in case you're not selling to Nigeria. Maybe it's in uh, Ghana or other countries. Okay, so that's all you need to do. It will still use the same product. So far, you are working on this product. So, let's go. Alright, so here is the thing. You see, where uh, you have this ad headline, ad body, uh, value proposition, call to action. So, you won't really be using everything the way it is, right? So you just copy out each section and all of that. And meanwhile, uh, the previous video I did, the last part here, so let me show you the last part. Here is when you are writing copy using uh, AI, you want to ensure you also review it. Most times you don't want to copy and paste in the stand. So uh, you can as well just copy all of this somewhere and uh, probably we write one or two things but then this is not what to we'll be using actually so the f this first prompt is just to get the first draft right so um, i also wrote some prompt so this will give us let me say more better uh, results now what we'll do is we'll generate multiple variation of the ads copy right we we'll generate multiple variation with different marketing angle so the more you generate the more you see the one that will work for you all right so let's go now the reason i'm just copying and pasting is because i've actually spent a lot of hours putting this together so i'll just like copy and paste now let me tell you something especially if you are into e-commerce business i prefer to use short form copy because the advert is not really to sell your product. Do you get it now? The advert is to get people that are interested in what you are selling. Where the sales actually happen, where the conversion happen, is on your sales page. Now, you have a lengthy copy to convince them on your sales page. But you see, your advert is to give, it, give them an idea of what the product is and arouse their interest to clicking your advert to your sales page. So I prefer to use short form copy, it works. Now you can pair the short form copy with a video, do you understand? But then it works. So I actually love this angle, tired of carrying. So not like you write this one, two, three, oh. you just copy them separately and you have your copy. And this is how I actually like writing my ads copy. You have a very short headline not really the ad headline, but then at the top, you know, the first that will display. So I make sure it is not too lengthy so that when people will be previewing it on their screen, they will not really need to click on see more to have the full grabs of what the first line is. So you can see very, it is well instructed to write the copy like this. So tired of carrying bulky speakers, then the value proposition of the product. Umi bed fits in your pocket and turns any surface into a speaker. Very straight to the point kind of advert. Click here, click buy now, but then here you can just put uh, go to or place your order here, put your website. Simple, simple as ABC. Now you have written your copy. Now here is the thing, if you want to make this even lengthy, you can do that. But as I've said, I stated how I want the copy to be. Can you see line one, line two, line three? And I love it this way. Love music, but hate the asu on the go. With Omi Bed, enjoy four hours of non stop tunes wherever you are. Grab yours today. Short, punchy, at copy. So uh, let's assume you want something lengthy. Let's assume. I'll just say, awesome. These are compelling. Add copy but short can you make it a medium 
from add copy <laughs> i did not even write this from somewhere before and output the revised version so i'm just trying to show you that okay you can actually make this lengthy if you want to there you have it but you get the idea i don't want to make it too lengthy the selling actually happens on your sales page okay so uh don't let me overflog this so let's assume we have a copy already now the next thing is this you see when it comes to running facebook ad it's not just about getting conversion facebook ad is in two parts you want to ensure that your ad is compliant with meta or facebook advertising policy and also you want it to convert so you are doing two things you want your advert to convert you also want it to be compliant with their policy so i also wrote a prompt that can help you verify or rectify that so all you need to do is copy this prompt um i just decided to include this if you have written your copy yourself you can decide to use it with this do you get it now so let's assume you wrote your copy yourself and you want to check for compliance if it violates their policy or not just go ahead with this or just use what we have already so let me just pick uh, one of the copies above so you understand how this works uh okay let me use i don't know the one to use now okay let me see love your tunes but dread the travel as you have got you covered okay uh, let me use one of these even though i instructed you to write something that is compliant but i just want to show you how this works so whatever you are selling or advertising you can use this oh sorry okay um, as i've said my tutorial is to give you more understanding of the concept so you can just implement all right uh so i'll just say place your order yeah then i'll put my website address click here to write no so i'll just put my uh adelike samuel.com for slash yt that's the link to my channel meanwhile hit the like button if you love what i've been sharing so far okay so we have our hard copy here and we have our prompt so you can just put this in quotation if you want to so this is the prompt that will help us check and review the ads copy i've given it specific instructions to check for and let's see if this does not work i'll use another plugin to get it done okay so um i don't know if i've said this now if you want to check okay you can see it is using the plugin so if you want to check for compliance right okay um but the plug but the content requires a login however i found some resource okay good so this is all do use we'll use the other plugin okay this ad does not seem to promote so you can see it is kind of highlighting the specific instructions that i've given it okay regarding discrimination this ad does not seem to promote discrimination misleading of this ad appears to be straightforward no financial claim uh the ad seems transparent so you can see it will do all of the heavy lifting and uh tell you okay given the limitation of not being able to access the full guidance this analysis is based on general advertising best practices blah 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 so but based on what you have here we are good to go but let me show you another thing another way to do this okay so um we'll use another plugin in this case we'll use the uh browse with bing so let's go uh do i have oh sorry let me copy everything here now if you watch the last uh video i did i said this particular plugin or plugins in chargbt helps you extend the functionality of chargbt there are so many things you can do right now on chargbt but with plugins that you can't do on the free one but don't worry i'll show you how you can check for compliance using ai as well if you do not have the chargbt plus so just hold on can you see now this particular one the uh 
Bing browser plugin actually went through Meta's advertising standards. Can you see? Your ad copy was analyzed based on the understanding of Meta's advertising standard. So, the thing is, Facebook most times use AI to check if your advert is compliant. Not like there is uh, a human being going through the advert after you publish. No, they use AI set of rules. Do you understand? So, that's why they tell you when they disapprove your advert, they'll tell you request human review. Do you get it now? So, what better way uh, to shield your account than using the same AI that they are using to check if you violate their policy or not? So, this understands um, what needs to be done. Can you see? You may not, uh, you may want to ensure that the claim of turning any surface into a speaker is substantiated to avoid misleading potential customer and all of that. This analysis is based on general, okay um so these are just suggestions but if you read everything here uh you are actually good to go and not does not is clear the language and tone and light does not uh, make as assertions and all of that so uh basically you are good to go now in a situation whereby it is not compliant your copy is not compliant just copy this follow-up prompt if not compliant so it will tell you Okay, let me show you. As it has listed, can you see some suggestions and recommendation? It will list it assuming it is not compliant. It will tell you what is not compliant there. So all you need to do is use the follow-up prompt and tell it to incorporate the suggestions it has made above. Do you get it now? So that's just it. Now, I was saying something. In case you do not have the ChatGPT Plus, see, I will tell you this. ChatGPT Plus is far, far, far justifiable. The price is justifiable because if you are getting someone to run your advert for you, to uh, write your copy for you, to do analysis for you, spend more than $20. So if you are a business person, serious with business, go get ChatGPT Plus. This is not a paid, well, they don't even have affiliate um, commission or whatever like that. Okay, so um, I was going to show you how you can do this if... You do not have ChatGPT Plus, you know, I got you covered. Now, this was a video I created seven months ago. Can you see? Seven months ago, when I was still trying to uh, show you guys ways in which you can still do a lot of things using AI. But then, uh, ChatGPT does not really have access to the internet as at then. So, I leverage on Bing AI and also ChatGPT. There is a way I connect dots. So if you want to get the most out of AI, you, you want to understand the limitation and capability of these AI tools. That is the only time you can connect the dot to uh, use them in a way a normal person won't use it. So I did this seven months ago. Can you imagine seven months ago? And trust me, this is still very, very valid. So if you don't have access to the free, uh, to the plus, just go watch this particular video. Adelikesame.com forward slash n o b knob so i will also put the link don't worry as i've said i'll put the link to all of this video in the description of this particular video you are currently watching okay so um not to waste our time so right now so far we have set up our custom instruction right we have done our research and we have generated our hard copy now we have about five ads copy we can generate 10 ads copy what I'm trying to tell you here is, you see, ad copy should be the list of your problem. Once you have done your research, then generating your copy is much more easier. And this is your ad copy. Okay, now, another problem most people have, I won't really say problem, but let me say um, what they find difficult to do is getting the interest to target. Now, listen, even though most times I... I recommend you use zero-based targeting. I recommend you do that. It works and it will keep working. In fact, I justified why it will keep working in a video I did on Meta Art. That was two weeks ago. Where I, uh, Meta AI and uh, the feature of Meta Art, Facebook Art. Go watch that video as well. Everything I talked about in that video 
is what I'm actually implementing right now, but I'm just using ChatGPT instead of the Meta AI that is just yet to be released. Okay, so um, we'll just copy this. So you can, this is not bad. You can actually scale with this. So basically, what you do is once you launch with zero-based targeting, you test with you test your creatives. Once you test your creative and you have your winners, you can now scale. Uh, scale horizontally using different ad copy that you have generated, different targeting options and all of that. Okay, so I'll just copy this and uh, we'll see use. So I will use these two plugins to see the one that will give us the best result. So this was the one that we used to uh, provide context, right? To ChatGPT. So let's see if it can uh, fish out these targeting options that we need. Now you can see based on the comprehensive audience analysis conducted earlier and the ad copies meticulously crafted. So I, I don't want to read all of this. So it will help us find the audience or the interest, the behaviors to target for this product. So let's see. So I also do the same thing using this other uh, plugin, which is the Bing browser plugin i remove because we did not do the compare uh com comprehensive audience analysis yet so i'll just remove it so in the last video i also said there is nothing bad if i use the uh, plus version you can use both plugin even though i prefer using web i will use i will open two tabs just like i did now then i'll do the same thing on these two tabs most times they won't really give the same result right but then what they will give me, I can just pick from this, pick from that. That is what will make you have better results. Even though it is doing a better work, you don't just want to copy and paste. Where you get the best result is when you bring this, bring this, infuse them together. That is when you have the best result. So you can see I'm using the other plugin as well. Okay, so can you see now we have our targeting recommendation. First interest targeting tech enth enthusiasts, music lovers, outdoor activities, home office workers, fitness and uh, wellness. So what you can do is go to uh, what's it called? Facebook and search. Put so some of these things might not be. I said might not be inside of uh, the audience targeting options in Facebook ad. So uh, all you need to do is just copy and check. Do you get it now if it is there i'm very sure some of these are there online shoppers engage shoppers all of these are there technology early adopters uh frequent travelers can you see high end brand consumers so i know all of these are here i know fitness and awareness are also a uh, part of it so you can see that this is pretty good so you don't need to stress yourself why stress yourself okay uh neighboring interest so you can see what i'm saying this is not really giving us a specific interest to target but it's suggesting okay interest stacking given the data privacy changes interest are being stacked together to stacking different relevant interest to expand the target audience is advised so stacking here basically what you do is what pick like two to three interest Put them in one that's what it's trying to say so you can see what i'm trying to say here they might not give you the same output but then read through the output it will give you an idea of what to do can you see device specific targeting shopping behavior so i would say web pilot the web pilot plugin gave us can you see web pilot plugin gave us the best result and i talked about this in the last video that i did that I prefer using web pilot to even the inbuilt uh, browser plugin that ChatGPT has. I told you. Okay, so um, now that we have our copy, we have the targeting recommendation. Now, here is the thing you see when it comes to Facebook ads, your creatives need to be on point because your creative is like the lifeblood of your ad campaign. I talked about this in one of my videos. If you actually want to get sustainable results, you need to keep shunning out as many creatives as possible. But most times, advertisers are actually not designers, right? 
So to do this is usually a problem. Now the first problem is actually getting the idea like having an idea of what the creative will look like or to shun out even more creative. That is one of the major problem. But right now you don't need to do too much because AI can brainstorm and get you as many creative ideas as possible. So let's start with that. Now I will just copy this prompt. Now given the uh, essence captured in the ad copy. So it's not just some random um creative ideas now so let me just let's do this i don't want to talk too much so we just paste we have tried pairing the art copy that we have generated now here is the thing you can decide to specify uh the art copy right but right now i just want as many creative ideas as possible can you see so it will give us uh some ideas product placement the woman woman bed uh blah 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 is centrally placed appearing as if it is the source of sound waves that are emanating in both settings okay we might include the hand reaching out to touch the speaker so you can see it you can just copy look at you can just copy this copy everything here and give it to your designer to help you design but right now they know what to design so it gave you breakdown of the visual elements the technical specification as per the uh, placement to be using on Facebook, compliance with like everything is highlighted. So even if you are not a designer, but you know how to use Canva, you can still do this. Even though I will show you how to use AI to still do most of this design, you can tell it generate, uh, let's say three more variations of this creative of this um add add creative okay so uh let me also use the second the second two here okay let's see although this particular one you know we did not actually uh do our audience product market analysis we just use the um copy so that's what i'm still banking on here but then if i want to do it i'll do i'll take time to Put both side uh, side to side and uh, compare but then because of the time I won't be able to do all of that okay uh, so let's see can you see so it generated variation 1 variation 2 sound on the go sound for every mood sound unleashed can you see so just use this take your time and you have variations of copy you can just hire a designer in-house just tell them okay just copy and paste this they know what to do if your designer is is very good but i also show you how you can use ai but you get my point right now that should be your the list of your problem that you don't know what to uh to have because i have students i have facebook as students i have many people i coach i have people that consult me and all of that this is usually one of their major headache but now that is lifted with AI. So you can see. So just take your time, read through this. You have so many ideas and you can even generate more ideas. Do you get it now? So that is that. Now let's, let's do an actual creative generation. So this one is just to give you an idea. Now, for those that don't know, right now inside of ChatGPT, you can actually generate images. Now they release this like a week not a week ago yeah they released this a uh, few weeks ago but then they just started rolling it out i think the account i'm using right now it was rolled out recently like three days ago so it's still very very new in case you do not know we'll be using dali 3 plugin now this dali 3 is just uh, a text to image model just like we have mid journey being create uh, leonardo ai and tools like this now we also have access to create images inside of chat gpt is that not amazing if you ask me that is interesting and i'll show you how to do that now here is the thing this is also for plus users you can see what i'm saying but then if you do not have the plus um, account or plan don't worry don't stress 
this is also available for free so you can actually access this for free using bing just go to bing.com forward slash images forward slash create you have access to the same model can you see this is it dali theory the same model so just enter your prompt here but the difference is you don't need to start going here and there just do everything you want to do inside of chat gpt do you get it now and unlike me joining that you need to use discord no just use the same web app i'm doing free promotion for chat gpt now so it is just amazing guys and it's, it is kind of faster one secondly you don't need to uh be a very good prompt engineer to get results with this because on mid journey you need to specify some details more properties and all of that but right now we just wait you can create what you want to create i can also modify what was generated using wet okay so let me just show you just an example of how this work now um so uh the plugin we'll be using in this case can you see the dali theory this is the new plugin so i'll just paste uh, i'll just say uh generate a photo of the wireless okay so let's see just to show you what it can do now why it is doing this let me tell you the sweetest part of using dali theory you see out of all of this um out of all of this text to image ai this is still the best when it comes to inscribing text into what is being generated you see most of these tools they are not good with text just like you have this dive into sound so let me show you where i put that can you see with the caption dive into sound if you use another ai tool you will see the way they will write the uh the text it will not be okay like they are not real letters something like that but dali theory is solving that so it means you don't need to be a designer you can just once you describe what you want you can also inscribe the text you want that is the sweetest part now i will tell you the limitations of this right now but then you understand what it can do can you see we are able to generate images inside okay let me generate one more image so i have this i'll, I'll leave this prompt for you so you can just copy and paste so you have an idea of um what to do so say generate uh photo of a slim so let's just see i just want to show you now let me tell you this you see this will be very very good or let me say if you are running advert for digital product for a service based business or you are generating leads you will find this uh inbuilt dali theory plugin very very useful to shun out as many creatives as possible unlike e-commerce guys even though this video is for e-commerce like specifically for e-commerce because right now this particular uh airport might not be the exact type you are selling i hope you understand what i'm saying so it might not be the exact type you are selling so what you want to do in that uh, case so let me show you something here. Yeah, you can actually copy the prompt. Can you see to even include the prompt of the variations? So what you can do is you can copy this prompt, right? And I'll show you another tool you can use to. I'll show you the way we can do this anyway. Don't worry. So uh, let me just. Can you see, guys? Elevate your fitness. Even though the hand does not seem that realistic, but you understand the concept, right? So these are pretty cool. And again, if you are selling gadgets, this should also work wonders if you are selling gadgets to an extent. But what you can do, now let me tell you what you can do with all of this. Even if it will not generate for your product, right? What you can do is go ahead to generate inside of Dali Theory and see, get the concept, the visual concept. The first one we did was to just get an idea, the concept, but without the visual, right? So you can use this to get visual if you are um, an advertiser this will help you especially if you do your design yourself 
and if what you do is help others design this will also help you so you can get the concept from this the real concept even before you start designing i hope you understand now if you are into e-commerce i will show you there is another process entirely that you follow if you are into e-commerce but then if you are into um as i've said as i've listed earlier um you are doing lead generation digital product so this is kind of generic right so i uh, will paste this and uh let me copy one of the copies let me copy one of the copies oh cool the first one we did was to generate just like a normal idea so let's copy our hard copy let me just copy one okay so i'll copy this so let's see what it will come up with so insert your ad copy here and uh, generate captivating and visually uh, let's see let's see what will happen so guys if i enjoying this video so far the best thing and the only thing you can do for me right now is to click the like button as i've said what i'm sharing in this video i'm very sure you haven't seen it shared anywhere if i'm saying the wrong thing you can thumb down this video but if i'm saying the right thing like this video drop a comment on this video let me know what you think ask questions add your contribution to the discussion and also share with your friends share with people share with your community members share with people that are still struggling with facebook ads so as i've said you see this prompt that i use here you see this particular prompt that we used to generate this will be very good if it is a digital product or digital service especially digital service it will be very good for that unlike e-commerce so i'll still show you the process you use so uh this is the way you would do it if you are selling physical products because the reason the reason is because charity might not be able to fetch the exact kind of product you are selling and if you are using another product to advertise your product then your users or your customers might be confused and they might even say but what i saw is different from what you gave me you understand so the method we we'll use i just deduce this not like i watched it somewhere but my understanding of generative ai their limitation the plugins limitation all of that i came up with this so first thing we'll do is we'll reverse engineer our image creative so the faster approach is this come to chargpt should i say no not really faster approach but if you don't want to go about all of this just get the concept from chargpt visualize the concept and have your designer do a design for you or do it yourself using uh what's it called but in the in that case using a uh, canva and the light in that case you use your real image right so another way we can do this is reverse engineer the whole process now there is another plugin we use and they just released this plugin as well it came alongside this dali theory now this is called chargeability vision i if you are in my telegram community when they made this announcement i shared it with you like two weeks ago this is why you should also join my telegram channel if you are not there there are some things i share there that I don't share on my youtube channel so go to is like my close community not a group not like uh, you see people disturbing you know i just share useful updates you can also reach me there comment ask questions right there so go to adelicasimon.com forward slash telegram you to uh you'll be able to join my telegram channel okay so uh basically they said chargers can now see hear and speak now before if you want to interact with chargers you only use text most times the output is also text but you can see right now um you can fetch or feed it with images and also get output as image you can also modify files pdf files word documents excel so child is going beyond just text do you get it now so um, i'll not be reading all of this i'll just show you what we can do with this i will leverage it as a marketer or as an advertiser so just select this default now when you select default you see this image icon can you see attach it for let me show you something for the default this is the newly introduced uh plugin now for 
advanced that analysis you see it is to add a file attached files for um, this one it is what add image or attach image so i'll just upload an image now okay um so let me show you something first let me show you something what let me just show you what you can do so let's ask my own to upload this particular image on social media right i'll just tell it um caption this so it can read there's something called computer vision right i don't want to digress but guys uh i can't there is no way i will not show you this because it is too amazing can you see so oh even though it is not showing the picture again but you saw the picture right i'll probably put it somewhere so it's capture it can read it can read the uh the 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 content even if there is no text but it can read what the uh picture is all about can i see and it gave me a caption so if you do not know what to say uh or to use as caption for your images this will help you and this is just the list of the use case for this plugin the list i'll probably be creating another video guys there are so many videos to create i just hope i will have time to create as many tutorials to help you guys but you guys should encourage youtubers to also create more all right so but this is not what i want to show you but i just want to show you that this is one of the things you can do okay now let's talk about how you can use this in um your advert especially if you are selling physical product the process is kind of different now the first thing you want to do is this i'll copy this front here um so let's provide context because this vision we cannot use now the problem is this assuming we can use let me let me explain something here at the moment you cannot use this chargeability vision alongside dali 3 so you have to use them separately that is where the problem is assuming we can use both this dali 3 and uh this default chargeability vision all we need to do is tell uh chargeability you see this is the product provide your product image then use dali 3 to generate whatever thing you want to generate using the product image you have uploaded but that is not possible so we have to use them separately so you need to look for a way to do this i think they know if they release such feature is <laughs> graphics designer <laughs> don't let me say what i want to say you understand what i'm saying anyway so they did it separately like I i'm just kind of imagining if we can use all of this together imagine but <laughs> let's continue okay so um let's provide context we, we need to provide context so we we'll use we don't need to do all of this we'll just use what um we generated with the analysis we did so i'll just copy this product name so i'll paste the product name here right then um the product description so i'll just go back to the analysis we did previously on this product can you see so i'll just copy i'll copy everything i don't have time i'll copy everything so it have or has more idea mm, i might leave the customer feedback i don't know if it is needed but then i'll just oh guys this is how you start running advert in 2024 i'm already taking it to 2024 okay so basically what i'm doing right now is just to provide the information and let it and ask it if it's understood everything i've shared with it can you see this is provide context for what you have to do next respond if you understand absolutely i understand the concept so uh what we'll do here is this we'll use this follow-up prompt we we'll use this follow-up prompt then we'll paste so uh this we'll remove this upload image and click on this attach image click on this okay boom we have it then we'll click on enter so we wanted to provide because oh what's happening okay uh this was the previous one so the idea is this don't forget your product is kind of specific chargeability might not have that functionality yet when they do i will let you know that's why you should also subscribe to my channel 
for more videos like this but then they do not have but i will show you what we can do don't worry don't worry don't play stop playing you are right here i will show you what you can do okay uh so can you see inside from the image product positioning the name of the product is position prominently on what seems to be the dashboard of the car can you see the way it is able to read exactly what the picture is all about guys this is just powerful and there are so many mind-blowing use cases this is just in fact what i'm sharing with you is just like like uh one out of 100 advanced use cases but anyway don't let me waste time with that so you can see he's giving a detailed a detailed description now i'm doing this so that i can give us even more ideas do you get it now object placement background element visually striking element everything leveraging insight for facebook image creative travel companion premium guys 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 i don't know i don't know i am feeling now i'm feeling somehow somehow <laughs> okay guys this is how this is how i i i do when you are working with ai because it's just making everything interesting like interesting guys okay um localize with pigeon expression to make the ad relatable for the nigerian audience consider integrating localized expression for instance your bedu anytime anywhere bedu meaning music in pigeon now i'm very sure it is using uh the custom instruction because i told you wait, let me let me show you something here i told it uh my language the language i understood can you see uh a blend no not yet can you see fluent in english and pigeon so it will make sure your advert is too more localized to your audience but you guys you get the idea right now that we have run this analysis now the second thing oh and that thing you can do is if you have tested an image creative that worked in the past all you need to do is let it know see this was light image after a bit testing uh my creative this seems to be the best performing or the best converting creative at reduced cost now extract useful insights why it worked even though I, I did not include the prompt right but then that's that's just another thing you can do then to generate more ideas of that uh creative that you can create i don't know if you guys understand this i don't know i don't know i don't know honestly okay so um <laughs> don't let me waste time so what i would do now is this now that we have the analysis so um if you watch if you have watched this video that i did six months ago on gpt4 let me see if i have the video here yeah? yeah i did this six months ago when they announced gpt4 you can see i'm not just uh, coming to the scene i've been following up like for for almost a year now not yeah almost a year not a year now like 10 11 months since ai became a thing so everything i'm sharing with you are advanced stuff that you not get anywhere so when it announced gpt4 i made this video you can come back to watch this video so everything they talked about then they are just releasing them to the public because then they just made the announcement but right now they are just releasing it so you can decide to come watch this video okay uh just go to addictsimon.com for slash gpt4 i will also put the link in this video uh, in the description so now that we have the insight come here and um we'll now tell it to now based on the provided so we are actually more concerned with the background description let me tell you why the reason is because the product yeah we have the product we can always get our product but you know what we cannot get it is the background so we want more suggestion so we have to do it that way so that it can separate during the analysis it can separate the background from the image that was, that was why i said um provide a detailed description of the primary product and its surrounding environment so it can also suggest more this in a sense <laughs> uh, oh my god okay uh so can you see big sunset setting yeah this is actually cool if you watch the uh previous tutorial i did beach and uh beach sunset and all of that was actually one of the 
suggestions that we are given. Now, I will show you how we do or use this. Can you see this is the description? So, these are the description we use. This is one description. Visualize the speaker on the high rise. This is another description. The speaker is set on a picnic blanket. So, these are ideas. Now, if you want to use AI to just generate this once and for all, we will use another AI too. Now, this is what ChatGPT is not capable of. At least the image part of it is not capable of doing at the moment, right? So, we will use another tool called Adobe Firefly. And again, if you are not new to my channel, I already did a tutorial on this. Uh, yeah, I did a tutorial on this. This was three months ago. You see, there are some tutorials that, that don't really have that much views but guess what those videos are even one of the best set of video that people skip watching but it is what it is but then i'm bringing you back to this video so this particular video i did a detailed explanation of what adobe firefly is and how to use it funny enough then this all of this is not possible with charity but then i found my way around it can you see so uh, I'm blowing my own trumpet now. Yes, I'm the AI Jagaban. <laughs> okay, so uh, for advertisers and marketers, this is the best channel you can get use cases, AI use cases for marketing. That's just the truth. Okay, uh, so um, let's go back to what we are doing here. Now, we'll use this to, we'll use the Adobe Firefly. And just recently, I think two days ago, Adobe did uh, their event. I've forgotten the name of the event, but they had their event where they released Adobe Firefly version 2. So the one I use in this video is still version 1, but it's still the same thing, right? But they released version 2 recently with new set of features, like amazing mind-blowing features. In fact, if I have to do a video on that, that would be like 2 hours long. But then that's not why we are here. So once you come to the firefly.adobe.com, just go to this generative field. Right now, we are not actually using text to image. We are using generative field. So the generative field, what it does or what it can do is you can decide to change a particular part of your video. Can you see? Of your image rather. Can you see? So you can decide to change the color, change the part or even add something to it. Do you get it now? So that's what we'll be using. So I'll just upload the same. Okay, so I'll just uh, upload this same image. Okay, now that we have the image, what we'll do next is this. I'll just copy. I'll just do one example so you understand what I'm trying to do. So I'll just copy picture the this. Just copy the description, right? Now it might not be perfect, but if you take your time, it's read the whole process. You get what you're looking for. Now the first thing. Easy peasy. Just click on this background. Let's remove. Now we are we already removed the background. Then you paste your prompt. Do you get the idea now? We use ChatGPT to get the background, some background that we can use. Then use Firefly. Now the reason I'm using Firefly is one, if you are not a designer, two, Firefly, the way it works. Mm, the way it works is you don't need to be a designer, even though. Uh, okay, let me just select. Can you see? But what I'm sharing here is just for you to understand and have an idea of the concept and process. Do you get it now? So, you can decide to do more variations. Do more as many variations as you want to. Till you get what you are looking for. You can, you can see even though it is... Now, the reason why it is like this is because the image is not of quality. Can you see now that after multiple iteration we have something different now this will speak to a different or a particular uh, segment of your audience so you get the idea of the whole process use ChatGPT to uh, analyze the image then use the analysis to come up with new set of uh, creative background then come to firefly to do your design and I was saying something then, the reason why Firefly is kind of amazing for this kind of tax is because it will help you like merge everything together as if you use Photoshop. I don't know, like to manipulate the image 
like you are using photoshop even though firefly is also owned by adobe the parent company of photoshop and the likes but you get the idea so you can download play around with this now i will tell you get high quality Im image that you can use that one i just downloaded it somewhere and i'm using but you understand the whole idea guys now i said something at the beginning of this video i said you see when it comes to facebook there are three stages first one is the pre-launch the launch and the post-launch now the pre-launch is what you have done and trust me this is where the problem even is when you have all of this all you need to do is just enter your facebook ads then put this put this put your copy upload your image uh choose your targeting that's all that's what you need to do but then understand some of you might still be new to this so everything we have talked about here is for the pre-launch phase now for the launch phase come to my channel come to this video you can see i created this video um earlier this year and it has over 7500 views you can see the comments the comments here are actually mind-blowing like i don't need to say just come to adelgisami.com forward slash fbf so for the launch phase or the launch stage what you want to do is come to adelgisami.com forward slash fbf i also put the link in the description so everything we have done this is where you now use them but then this is a much detailed tutorial i don't need to recreate the tutorial so you can see everything you need to know is right here like everything can you see how you can set it up inside of uh facebook ads manager can you see how to create facebook ad for beginners and even intermediate so you can see i got you covered for everything and then to access this particular resource just come to um adelikesamuel.com forward slash method yes i will give you access to everything for free like free of charge go there and if you also want to learn how to run profitable facebook ads you want something more structured and all of that come to adelikesamuel.com forward slash facebook ads the truth is i won't force you to get the course with this alone you are good to go but if you need something more advanced premium that will teach you from the basics to running profitable ads come get my course that is the best course you ever get on facebook ads and the sweetest part is we have a community of other advertisers so as the platform is evolving you also get updated you ask me questions you have direct access to me i can answer all of your questions wow this is a lengthy tutorial but i hope you got value from this video till i come your way again make sure you are exploring the world of ai all right so guys that'll be all for now and i will see you in my next video bye for now